Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here today to bring you my review for the 2019 zombie horror film, Blood Quantum. A film that is written and directed by Jeff uh, Barnaby. And it stars a lot of people whose names I'm not going to butcher here. Right, and this is, like I say, a zombie horror film that focuses on a backwater small town uh, in the US. And it's like deep in uh, Indian territory, if you like. And it tells a story of uh, the start of a zombie apocalypse, I suppose. Um, and it's set in the 1980s. Um, and we see initially the start of this outbreak. And then it jumps forward. Um, six months um, and then it becomes kind of post-apocalyptic film I guess is the best way to describe it so it, it shows how the outbreak comes about and then six months later how they are coping with a full-blown zombie apocalypse um, so but that, that's the basic premise of this film really without giving you any real spoilers here now um, zombie films there's a lot of them out there and a lot of them are out in the market now, for me personally, if I'm, if I'm going to watch a zombie film, zombie horror film, it has to do something a little bit different with the genre. Um, and thankfully, this one really does. Um, I've got to say, I really, really enjoyed this film. It's not a nice film, <laughs> not by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, but it's a bloody good film. Um, and it it reminded me of Stakeland. If you remember Stakeland, that vampire film, brilliant, brilliant film. And this is almost like, zombie version of that film it's got that same feel to it that bleakness that washed look to it um, and it felt gritty and realistic and dark and dismal and not a place you would want to live in any way shape or form um, it looked really it, it looked and felt really really terrible and they really got that impression across and I really really applaud them for that it's a nasty looking and feeling film full of um, not particularly nice characters in fact some of them are damn right nasty as well um, so it's it's a grim and dark film and for me as well proof that happy endings just don't exist in movies like this um, so don't be expecting uh, a nice jolly outing here because you're not going to get it it is brutal um, and gruesome and some of the kills uh, and some of the gore on display here is full on uh, Dawn of the Dead type stuff. I mean, literally, you know, insides being ripped out and eaten and thrown and limbs being chopped off. It's, it doesn't hold back. And I think, personally, fans of the zombie horror genre are going to love this film. Absolutely love it because it's, it's brilliantly made. Um, and it's... It's got it's got a lot of really outstanding characters in it who stand out, but not many of them you can look at and root for. There's a couple. There's a couple of the elderly characters that you look at and hope they're gonna, um, you know, get through this. <laughs> um, and some as well. This film does that's really really interesting. It 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 layers into the film a couple of small animation pieces that are really quite beautifully done um, don't make a lot of sense but they kind of strangely fit into the movie um, and I just thought it was really artistic and nicely done and, and, and felt right for the movie for the most part um, it's there's a section of the film about three quarters of the way through though where it feels like you missed something it feels like there's a 15 minute bit being edited out or something because there's, there's a handful of characters and one in particular that take um, a turn and it feels like it come out of nowhere um, there's like a betrayal takes place and, and, and I'm like oh what have I missed I, I felt like oh did I lo did it lose my attention for a minute have I missed something maybe it just wasn't explained well enough uh, or the story told well enough for that part but it just literally felt like I'd missed something um, and it was too big a betrayal and too big a turn for it not to be highlighted more than it is in the film if that makes sense I like the music score as well it felt quite 80s and retro and synthetic um, synths going off here and there and it, it, fit, the mu it fit the film um, and yeah I like this film um, 
it's not like I say, it's not a nice watch it's not a pleasant film to watch because it's so brutal and harsh um, but your heart is definitely in your mouth a few times watching this film it's genuinely tense um, gripping at times there's a bit of a lull between um, the initial opening where it's set before the outbreak and during the initial outbreak and then the jump six months later there's a little lull that takes place um, that kind of slows the movie down to a snail's pace uh, but once it gets going again um, the pacing is brilliant and it's fine there, there is just a little bit lull after the first act I suppose is the best way to describe it and maybe they wanted that time to flesh out some of the characters but like I say some of these characters they were trying to flesh out weren't particularly likeable characters or relatable characters or you know so I don't know it just, it just felt like the pacing just fell off a cliff for me at that point after the first act um, but a really really fun interesting zombie horror film uh, post apocalyptic zombie horror film whatever you want to call it um, and I think a really welcome addition to the genre and I had loads of fun with this film um, it really nicely filmed very gritty very dark very realistic some completely brutal kills that take place um, and not just by the zombies but by oh, everybody in this film um, and I, I do honestly think fans of the zombie horror genre are going to get a kick out of this film and it's one that I strongly recommend uh, and that's coming from someone who's not really a massive lover of zombie horror films so I'm giving it an 8 out of 10 I think it's going to become a probably a cult classic going forward and I hope it gathers a bit of a following a bit like Stakeland did because I'd like to see more of this um, type of film or more of this universe uh, that they have built here in this film so that's my review for Blood Quantum definitely want to check out you zombie fans thank you very much for watching and of course i'll see you back for more reviews on screen stars very very soon